Welcome to the $100 MBA Show, the podcast that just keeps on going like the Energizer Bunny with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of the $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today, you will learn three tasks you should always do every day. These are three things you should be doing on a daily basis in your business. I live by these three things. These are three things that really affect the growth and the success of your business, and you need to make sure that you're doing it on a consistent basis. I'm going to break it down and share everything with you, so let's get down to business. This episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by Rerun. Tired of spending hours chasing down clients for new credit card details? Automate your subscription or membership billing with Rerun. Rerun automates payments, email, and best of all, expiring and declined credit cards. Learn more or sign up for a free trial at rerunapp.com slash podcast. That's rerunapp.com slash podcast. If you want to get significant results in anything you do, consistency is key. And that's why I want to share with you today three things you should do every single day in your business that will help you consistently grow and see results. These three tasks are tried and proven. I've been using them. I've done them. I do them every single day when I do business, when I work on my business. And they're essential if you want to see some serious results in what you do. So I'm going to jump right into it and give you the first task you really should be doing every single day. The first one is content creation. You have to create some form of content on a daily basis or at least work on a piece of content. That may be a blog post you're working on. Now, you don't have to complete the blog post today, but you have to work on that blog post today. You have to spend time working on creating content that will help your audience. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're selling physical goods, if you're selling coaching, if you're selling advice, you're selling services, you're a photographer, you're an artist, you're a technician. It doesn't matter. Content can really help your audience find out what you can offer. It builds your credibility and shows others you know what you're talking about and you have what it takes to earn their business. So make sure you dedicate time every single day to creating content. That could take any form, blog post, infographics, a webinar, a podcast, a video, whatever. But the point is, is that you're creating valuable content for your audience so they can learn more and find out about you. The more content you create on a consistent basis, the better off you're going to be. It's one of the best ways to market your business. You're not telling people that you're great. You're showing them that you are. You're showing them that you're valuable. And this is why I make sure that every single day I'm creating some sort of content that helps my audience. This is my time right now. I'm creating this podcast episode. This is my content creation time for today. Maybe tomorrow I'll write a blog post. Maybe the next day I'll do something else. But the point is, is I'm working on building content, building a body of work people can check out if they're interested in what I offer. Remember, you're trying to build trust here. You're trying to build credibility. And if people can chew on things to let them know that you have what it takes, you are worth their business, and they can be convinced. They can make that decision themselves. They can say, yes, after reading all this stuff or watching this person's videos, I'm ready to spend my money on somebody that I can trust now, and I know that they know what they're doing. So make sure that content creation is part of your regular daily practice as an entrepreneur. Obviously, if you're taking days off for weekends and and, and time off, that doesn't count. But when you are working, make sure you include time to create content for your audience. All right, number two, the second task you have to do every day you work on your business. Find a way to reach out to somebody who's interested or looking for your help. They could be a customer, they can be a reader of your blog, they could be somebody on Twitter asking a question. You can search different questions on Twitter. Go out and reach out and help them directly, answer their questions. Find a way that you can help someone in some way directly, a single person or a few people, it doesn't matter. But the point is is that content is for your general audience, but when you help somebody directly, it has a different effect. You're helping someone, some individual with an issue, with a problem, with a question they have. So seek out places where you can help people directly. Answer comments on your blog. Go out into the different forums or the different Facebook groups where people are asking for advice or feedback. I mentioned Twitter. Twitter is a great place to search for questions and answer them directly to people. 
If you're not answering questions, why don't you support somebody's work, share somebody's work that they're working on, help somebody else become successful. The point here is that you're making time to become a facilitator, be somebody that is genuinely trying to help other people. And through that practice, through that process, you refine your skills as a communicator. You find your skills as a problem solver, as somebody who is really developing their skill as a problem solver in your expertise. And a hidden benefit is you get to learn what people are struggling with. And these are some areas you may want to consider building products for or services for. So it's some really good market research as well. So number one, content creation. Number two, directly help somebody in some way. I got one more, number three, which is incredibly important. But before that, I got to give some love to today's sponsor, infofree.com. I know many of you are struggling to find new customers. Trust me, I've been there. Most contact lists are outdated and don't have the sales leads that are right for your business. But let me tell you about a service that I found that makes selling so much easier. Infofree.com. And by the way, they're offering a free trial to listeners of our podcast. Infofree.com's data is so accurate that it's been featured on 60 Minutes. Do you want to reach prospects with phone calls, emails, or direct mail? Infofree.com has you covered with its database of 14 million businesses and 220 million consumers. It gives you the power to target specific leads that are right for your business. And with the free trial, you have nothing to lose. And infofree.com has a free mobile app that gives you the ability to access all your sales leads and research any business before you call. Use the app on your iPhone or Android to qualify leads within seconds. To get a free trial of infofree.com, just go to infofree.com slash MBA. If you're looking to double your sales, check them out, infofree.com slash MBA. The third task you should do every single day you work on your business is to work on your offer. Work on the product or the service or whatever you offer your customers for sale. Remember, you're running a business, so you need to make sure that whatever you're selling is of value and that you are selling it. When you're running a business, financial pressure is huge and you do not want to have that overwhelming feeling of not being able to break even. So one of the things you want to consistently work on is exactly that, making sure that your revenue is continually flowing. And a part of that is working on whatever your product is. That could be marketing, that could be the development of the actual product, that could be the actual development of the sales page of that product or the sales video. But the point is, is that you have to do something that helps you make money. I believe you should be working on a product, a service, an offer at any stage of your business. Doesn't mean you have to be selling something from day one, but you should be working on it, developing it, and starting to market that product. Even if it's not out yet, you can start marketing it in a pre launch phase. I can't stress how important this is because a lot of us, when we start businesses, we forget that we need to have the income coming in. We're very in love or infatuated with the idea of being in business or being an entrepreneur. But if you want it to be sustainable, you have to make revenue. And you can create something of value at a good price for your audience. And that's a great service. You should really, really work on that portion of your business on a daily basis. Today might be working on the sales page. The next day might be marketing the actual product through Facebook ads or maybe through content that you're creating. Maybe the next day you're working on the sales video. Maybe the next day you're working on the actual content of the product if it's a course or something like that. So make sure you're constantly working on that offer. And obviously when you launch it, you're working on the marketing of it, helping the people inside that community so you have happy customers so they can tell other people. So work on your moneymaker as well. Work on what is going to bring in the revenue. So just to wrap up, the three tasks you should be working on a regular basis every single day you work on your business. One, content creation. Create some valuable piece of content or work on a piece of content. You don't have to complete it in one day, but you should go and work at it every single day. Two, directly help someone, answer questions, help people out, be of service to people directly, be it on a Facebook group or on Twitter or in a forum or answering comments on your blog, whatever it is. Number three, work on your offer, work on what brings in you revenue, be a product, be a service. Make sure that you're concentrating on what makes you money as well. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would love to hear from you. We would love to hear your feedback with an iTunes rating and review. We read every single one of them, and we enjoy every single comment. 
We would love for you to drop us an iTunes rating and review. Everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly draw, and we announce it on Friday. Here's an amazing review from Brandon. Brandon says, useful and engaging five stars. I'm constantly looking for new tools and resources to grow my own knowledge and develop my own team. The format being broken down into small, easy-to-process lessons gives great talking points for coaching sessions within any size team. An entrepreneur with aspirations for success should give this a listen. Thank you so much, Brandon, for the awesome review. Guys, I want to leave you with this. I know a lot of us get into entrepreneurship so we can do our own things, so we can be flexible, so we can have flexible hours. But it is also important to have some structure in your day and have some goals for the day. So these three things, these three tasks I mentioned today really give you structure throughout the day because you know you need to accomplish these things. It also gives you the sense of accomplishment that you haven't gone through the day without creating things that will directly help your business. And all three things will impact your business in a positive way. So having some must-dos every single day really helps you get things done on a regular basis. All right, guys, I hope that helps, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Take care.